may I speak in the name of God, creator, redeemer and sustainer of all. What does the word babushka mean to you? To me, it's a folk tale from Russia about a woman called Babushka, who welcomed three kings who needed a place to rest until it was dark, when the stars would come out and the star they were following would show them the way. The kings told Babushka that they were going to find a newborn king, a king such as the world had never seen, a king of earth and heaven. They invited her to go with them to bring a gift she knew what a baby would like. She had toys that had belonged to her baby son who died. She didn't think a baby king would welcome her. When the kings followed the star, she stayed at home to tidy up. The house had to be cleaned. She couldn't just leave it. She cleaned the toys. She slept. She packed the toys in a basket and set off, expecting to catch up with the kings. But in every village, people told her, yes, we saw them, they went that way. After many days, she came to a city. She thought the ba royal baby would be there, but the palace guard told her, no royal baby here. What about the kings? Yes, they came, but they didn't stay long. They went to Bethlehem. She was surprised. It was a little place, no bigger than her own village. It should be easy to find a baby. They said that the kings had asked to see the baby too, before they went home a different way. And the baby had gone too, to a place of safety. Shepherds had come as soon as the angels told them. The kings came as soon as they saw the star. It was Jesus, the Christ child they found, the world's saviour. It is said that Babushka is still looking for the Christ child, for time means nothing in the search for things that are real. Year after year, she goes from house to house calling, is he here? Is the Christ child here? Particularly at Christmas, when she sees a sleeping child and hears of good deeds, she will lift out a toy from her basket and leave it, just in case. Then on she goes with her journey, still searching, still calling. Is he here? Is the Christ child here? Today we are celebrating the Epiphany. What does the word Epiphany mean to you? It means something like a revelation, the Christ child Jesus being revealed to the nations, to the Gentiles, not just the Jews. The kings came from the east, like the Queen of Sheba, who came about 900 years before Jesus was born to visit King Solomon, son of David, ancestor of Jesus. The kings brought gifts to Jesus, gold, frankincense and myrrh, just like the Queen of Sheba, who came to visit King Solomon, with a very great retinue, with camels bearing spices and very much gold and precious stones. Gold, frankincense and myrrh. Precious gold, mined for thousands of years. Gold was a gift fit for a king. Gold for a crown. Frankincense and myrrh are both resins from a bush or a tree. They ooze out when cut and are collected for use as perfumes. Myrrh associated with death, with embalming. In Mark's Gospel, Jesus on the cross was offered vinegar and myrrh to drink. Frankincense was, and still is, burnt in worship, representing the prayers of the faithful, or as a sacrifice to God. Luke's Gospel tells us of angels, messengers from God to Mary, to Joseph in a dream, and to the shepherds. Matthew's Gospel tells us of dreams, the kings were warned in a dream to go another way home, not to go back to King Herod, who ordered the killing of all boys under two years of age. Joseph was warned in a dream to take Mary and Jesus and seek asylum in Egypt until after King Herod died, when it was safe to return to Nazareth. 
What about us? Are we like the shepherds and the kings, coming to Jesus as soon as we get the news or see the star? We don't know what happened to them. Did their lives change because they saw Jesus as baby? Are our lives changed by knowing Jesus as our Lord and Saviour? Or are we like Babushka, making excuses, putting off following the star, missing the chance to see the Christ child, but still inspired by Jesus, still doing all the good we can, in all the ways we can, for the rest of our lives. Amen.